Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mr. Fuzzy Lego, and welcome back to our custom Lego minifigure video. And today I'm showing you three figures, Alex King, Simon Birch, and Maddie Kent, all from The Worst Year of My Life Again, which is an Australian TV show about a boy who has the worst year of his life, and on the eve of his 15th birthday, he wakes up and realizes that the year repeated, and he has to live through it all again. So I've actually seen this show multiple times over the years before it was taken off Netflix, and it was always just so enjoyable and satisfying to see how our protagonist, Alex King, would somehow managed to either mess the year up again, or he would try to counteract what happened in the previous year. It was always just super entertaining for me, and I always really liked it. So I figured I finally should make the main three figures from it, and I'm super happy that I did. So this show is pretty hard to watch if you don't live in Australia, but some episodes have surfaced online, so I'll leave a link to the very first one if you want to go check it out. I recommend it because it's really enjoyable, and if you uh, find yourself so inclined, you can check out the other episodes. But yeah. So yeah, that's about it for this intro, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with these minifigures. So the first minifigure I'm going to show you is Alex King, who is the one that's experiencing the loop year in the show. And I think that he came out pretty well. In fact, all the characters in this uh, video are sporting the outfits that they wear in the first episode. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So there's one thing I really like about these uh, customs, and I'll explain later. But I guess I'm just going to go over the figure now. He's very simple. Um, I used the Peter Parker head from the new Spider-Man Far From Home sets because I think it looks a lot like uh, Ned Napier, in my opinion, actually. I even asked guys on Discord and they said that it did a lot, so I'm happy with it. And I even did paint the other side well, the eyebrows. I painted that and also brightened the pupils on both eyes. So, yeah, that's what I did. I painted up a simple Mike Williams hair piece because I think it looks pretty well. And just some simple colors. And then, uh, yeah, just some overall p simple painted details, a little shirt there. I have the Seagate logo, logo right there, and that was kind of difficult to paint. It came out better on some other figures, but it looks pretty nice there. His uh, pants look really nice. Uh, I sanded down the inside so they wouldn't scratch whenever I would move them. And, yeah, I painted onto the, the waist also. And then with some three-dimensional colors on his arms there, made out of paper, and then his watch, which is just, you know, painted with <laughs> paint and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the final part about this figure is, of course, the backpack, which is very awesome. It's just a simple little backpack apparatus, almost, if I can get the head off. Uh, it just comes right off here with a neck piece here, and, uh, yeah, it's just painted up like this. Uh, sculpted on the back here, you can see the backpack there with some different painted details that I tried to make it look just like the show. And what I like about this is you can put this on any minifigure, so each figure in this video will have a chance to wear the backpack. So I think this is very awesome, and removing this, you can kind of see what Alex looks like without the backpack there. And, uh, yeah, it still looks really nice. Simple 360. Some different painted wrinkles that I just kind of left there. And, yeah, that's about it for Alex King. Let's go on to the... So next up is Maddie Kent, who was pretty difficult just because of the plaid design. And showing you, I already did a plaid with Isabel last year for Super Smash Brothers. I think that the plaid on uh, Maddie came out a lot better because it, I, you know, just experienced all that. Uh, painted on some, I'm trying to move. It. There we go. Uh, so basically, how plaid works is just a bunch of lines and squares. So uh, pretty difficult whenever the color is a very dark green. But she's wearing the normal school uniform. Uh, you know, that she wears in the first episode, so I think this came out really nice. The buttons all on there are awesome. I gave her short legs because in the show she's uh, significantly smaller than both of the male characters, so I think that this represents her height pretty well. I didn't think that the Harry Potter legs were really that tall, and plus I don't even have any to begin with, so this is kind of what I decided to do anyway. But yeah, painted on some shoe detail, kind of how she looks in the show, and that uh, came out pretty nice. And then the skirt also is, um, Trying to get it off here. They're uh, three dimensional here. It just comes right off here. Made out of paper as always. And uh, that just kind of fits right on here. Didn't want to do it like a full jacket or anything. That was good. That would be kind of a pushing, I think. Here's the head that I painted. I didn't uh, just use a stock one like I did for Alex. I painted that, which I think came out pretty nice. In the show, Maddie is very, like, a, like a, kind of cute almost. So I tried to make her look very innocent and uh, just like how she appears in the show with some different, uh, different things here. She's got some more. So, uh, you know, cuffs here. I don't know why I'm stuttering my words, but uh, it's got some cuffs there. And she's supposed to have a watch, but I didn't have time to uh, paint on here. But if I did, it would just been silver and uh, with a white bit there. And she does have the standard brown hair, which I think works out pretty well for her hairstyle. Go. And just like I promised, I'm going to give Maddie the backpack so you can see how it looks on her, which I think that she probably deserves it the most because she's kind of devoid of any color compared to the other characters. So I, normally I think I might keep the backpack on her despite... 
uh, the fact that Alex is the main character. But yeah, here's what the backpack looks on her, and it actually works well with the um, the hair, which is really great. And also, yeah, there's some details on the backpack. I don't know if I even showed that, but there they are. So that's about it for Maddie Kent. Let's go on to our last figure. The last figure is Simon Birch, who is sporting the black variant of the jacket. And what I love about these figures so much is I'm going to get them right out of the way, is that they are very versatile. You can literally just put, um, you know, Alex's head on here and it, boom, it's, it works because they wear the exact same outfits. So I think that that's kind of cool that I made them in different styles so that they both uh, look like they work well. And here's what uh, Simon would look like on Alex's torso here. It just, it looks, it works well, you know, they, they work well together and I think that it came out pretty awesome and it's cool with Kent, the background's getting all messed up here, so let me go ahead and put it back into focus here. But anyway, I'm going to remove Alex's head because we've already seen that. So yeah, I might as well, since I have it off already, I might as well show you the backpack uh, now. I think I'm going to keep the backpack on because I didn't paint anything onto the back of his torso anyway, so there's what he looks like with the backpack on. And funny enough, I did use a reference of Simon wearing the backpack to make this uh, the, the backpack itself, so it kind of works well in his favor. But I did paint this head, which I think came out looking pretty awesome as well, trying to make him look like his actor, and uh, came out pretty well. I'm still not the best when it comes to painted faces, but I'm doing uh, better. And the jacket is not a standard black, it's like a mixture of a dark blue and a gray, and a, it's not a, uh, a standard color you can attain, so that was kind of difficult to get right. But I, I did, and it looks pretty good. Did the exact same technique for Alex's legs that I did on Simon, so his legs can go pretty nice, and it's not going to scratch or anything like that. So that's pretty awesome. And yeah, there's really not much else to say about this figure. I was going to paint a little badge here that said King of Pranks, like he has in the first, the fourth episode. But I, I, didn't, I guess I kind of forgot about it over time, and that's kind of what happens to it well, after a while. So that's really about it for these minifigures. They're honestly kind of simple, aside from Maddie's jacket. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get uh, this video like ended. Let's, let's end the video. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you did, it would be awesome if you leave a, a like down below and comments and all that. That's always very much appreciated. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the next batch of minifigures I'm going to make. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.